tomorrow, there's t- tomorrow being Friday, there's a big upper level low. It's out in California. It's got a lot of water with it. That water is going to come up over Colorado tomorrow. So the atmosphere is going to be moist. During the afternoon and at night, what's going to happen simply is the wind is going to shift from a terrible direction in the morning, which is southwest. We don't like that wind. It's going to shift around to west and northwest late day. That's what we like, wind-wise. Yes, a a west wind is our best wind. And that wind will shift in the afternoon. Temperatures will start cooling aloft. And if you can just envision you squeezing a sponge at the sink, that cooling temperature and that west wind just sort of squeezes that sponge. So the snow gets going mainly geared toward later in the day. There could be a little in the morning, but it's really not relevant because temperatures are going to go above freezing by 11, 12 o'clock. So late in the day, tomorrow night, there could be as much as six at the resorts by dawn Saturday, which is great news. That is great news, especially after that 15 we just got. I mean, we are, we're piling it on now. Exactly, and I got even better news for Saturday, if you don't mind me babbling for one second. Babble away, moisture. buddy. <laughs> we still have moisture. We still have an upslope wind. It's not a strong upslope wind, so don't expect a huge dump. But there's, it's still an upslope wind from a west-northwest direction, and we have little ripples of energy aloft coming from Utah. So I think maybe the resort's two or three more inches on Saturday. A few more snow showers Sunday, and then just to get everybody's attention, I see a pretty good one Tuesday night. So there's just going to be a wave train of action starting tomorrow. It lasts through the weekend, one day of a break on Monday. We get more on Tuesday, and we probably get more at the end of the week. So things are looking optimistic. I love it. Now, uh, can we expect this, this pattern change to stick with us for a while, or is that even predictable? It is kind of predictable. There's a word we use called teleconnections. It's a big word, and all you do is focus on the big upper air highs and lows around the hemisphere. What that is saying is toward Christmas week, the upper trough is kind of in the Rockies now, meaning, you know, tomorrow through the weekend into Monday, Tuesday, the trough is kind of near us. It looks like it backs up a little bit more toward just off the coast of California, which a lot of times sometimes is not that favorable, but the key to the whole northern hemisphere is there's progression in the atmosphere. There's not high latitude blocking where everything stays the same for weeks at a time. So even though the trough maybe won't be perfect on Christmas week and beyond, the progression around the northern hemisphere is still going to allow it to snow. Instead of snowing every two days, it might take four days. That's all. So it still doesn't look bad. I love it. Well, uh, we're stoked. A little, uh, little pal on the weekend. Exactly. Corey, thanks so much for coming in. And uh, Ryan, we're going to uh, we're going to celebrate the storm on Friday, huh? That, that's right. Tomorrow night at the Regal here in downtown Aspen, Aspen Peak Magazine, and AspenWeather.net, uh, having a nice party at uh, between nine and eleven o'clock. We've got uh, DJ Nakaji on the turntables. We've got uh, uh, Aspen's sh- finest right there. <laughs> right, 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 right. And uh, we've got the Crapery over there. They're going to be providing the food. So come on down and let's party from 9 o'clock to 11 o'clock tomorrow night, Friday the 14th. I love it, guys. Too, guys. 300 people are showing. It's going to get rowdy. It's going to be a good time. (laughs) Thanks so much, guys. We always appreciate the words on the weather. We'll have you back in here pretty soon.